would just like to show these real quick. Me and my son painted them. They're the $2 red truck um, wood pieces from Dollar General. My son painted this one. He's nine years old. He did such an amazing job on it. I will be using this in my Christmas decor this year. And then when he was painting his, I painted this one. And the theme of them are, mine is coming out the tree farm on the grass, and his is headed down the road. So, that is what these are for. His is on the road, and mine is on the grass. He did such an amazing job on it. We had a lot of fun painting them. Hit that like button if you think these are just too adorable. Okay, y'all, so we're going to start out this DIY. You'll have to excuse my, this mess. I'm having to do it on my coffee table today. And what we're going to be doing is I bought these three dollars. They were $3 a piece. And I got these from Dollar General. And I think that they are so cute. They are little mason jars. And I love the way that this one looks. I wanted to use it for everyday home decor and not just fall. So, this is what it looked like to begin with. With this one, I have already taken off. This one come with a little metal pumpkin. And it also come with the twine bow, like on this one. So, I took the twine off and the metal bow. I meant the metal and the twine off. And I just flipped it around, okay? Then, I used just some of this sandpaper that I got from the Dollar Tree. You get like... 30 pieces or 35 pieces for a buck. It is perfect for distressing things and getting glue off. And I just scratched it to make sure all of the glue was off of it and I done got it all off. And then what I'm gonna do is I found this humongous roll of burlap from Walmart and it was $3.47. It don't have the price on it, but it's just some burlap. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this one is covered with burlap. So, I'm going to cover this one once again with some burlap. And it just happens to fit it right pretty much perfect. So, I'm really excited about that. And so, I'm just going to measure to see how much burlap I'm going to need. And then I'm going to cut it. Sorry, y'all. Pebbles is in everything. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is what I'm actually thinking about doing is I'm not going to put burlap on the top. I'm going to do all twine on the top. I just think that it looks better like that. So let me cut this extra piece off. And you can mod podge this, but I'm going to try to hurry and get it done a little quicker. So I'm actually going to hot glue it. Be sure to be careful when you hot glue burlap because it will come through. And my fingers are just so tough from where I craft so much. It does not bother my fingers. They are tough. So just... I'm going to start by hot glue in the corner and then I'm going to hot glue this part, the top part. And it does not have to be perfect. That is the amazing thing about farmhouse is, you know, you want it to look distressed and imperfect. That is the look that people are going for with farmhouse. And so I have my lighter around here somewhere. Um, I do like to burn my edges on my burlap. That way it keeps it from fraying. Here it is. So I should have done it before I glued it down, but I completely forgot. So we're just going to go on and do this in real quick. And you must be careful when doing this because it will catch the whole burlap piece on fire. And you do not want that to happen. So... Now we're just going to go down and be sure to glue the whole piece of burlap down. And of course, I got to put another glue stick in my gun. So 
So y'all give me just a second. And I'm like I said, I know you could Mod Podge this and it would probably do a little bit better maybe or even. But I do know that Mod Podge does make it a little bit darker. And that's not the look that I'm going for. Okay, back to our mason jar. You're just going to take some twine. And you want to tie it on the back to start it off. So, no big deal. Just tie it in a knot. That way you, you can go on and wrap it without you having to worry about it coming unraveled. Okay, so now we're going to take it and we're just going to wrap. I'm going to finish wrapping this and I will be right back, guys. Okay, I do have the majority of it wrapped. When you get to the very top, you're going to want to add a little hot glue. That way it does not come off. So then you just add your hot glue and you finish wrapping. And you want to make sure it sticks. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more hot glue at the top. And wrap it one more time. You just want to make sure that it stays in its place. And then I'm just going to take it and hot glue the leftover down to the back. I cannot find my scissor. And then you just want to take your scissors. Here they are and snip it off. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more where I snipped my end piece off. Okay, let that dry for just a minute. I hope y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I love the twine at the top. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some words to it. I have not decided. Where to put these in my house yet, but I do know I want to put them side by side. So being that this one says be thankful, I'm going to make this one say love always. And I also, since this one has a little metal on it, I have some little metal hearts that I got from Walmart on clearance. They're little metal heart stickers. I'm going to take one of these and put it at the top with the bow. That way they both have a metal piece and they both have a bow. So I'm going to put love always on here. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to freehand it with a paintbrush. This does not have to be perfect. Like I said, this is farmhouse country, so in, imperfection is what you're looking for. So I just got some black paint right here and just a regular paintbrush. And I'm just going to put love always on here. Free-handedly. Now, you can use a stencil if you want to. You could use stickers and hot glue the stickers down, but 
I thought about the stickers and I just didn't think it would do good on top of the burlap. love okay y'all I did not like that so I have completely changed my mind on what I'm gonna do with this lovely just lovely yes there we go I'm just gonna rip that off And then I'm going to try to wipe this off. I did not like the way that it said love always. So. If you wanted to do it, you can. That's fine. But I had a change of heart. Did not quite turn out the way that I thought it would. And so I'm gonna leave my twine. I do like my twine up there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint the wood. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to paint it white. Let's see if that's gonna be possible, if it will cover up all this black which I'm sure with enough coat of paint, it will. Look at that. Yes, it's going on very, very bad. Smoother, and I think the white will be easier, the wood will be easier to paint on for the lettering. I'm actually gonna use stickers because the stickers will stick to this when it would not stick to the burlap. They don't have to be exactly the same just because they're going to be hanging up beside one another. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a DIY video where somebody just stops right in the middle of it and completely changes their mind because they did not like the way that it looked. And most people probably edit out their videos, but this is real life, people. This is not perfect. You don't like the way something looks, you either have to go buy another mason jar or work with what you have. So what am I doing? This is real life and I'm working with what I have. And 
and there's still a little glue left on it but you know what that's okay this is going to be perfectly in perfect I do want the streaks in it I do want to be able to see the wood And I probably will even distress it, and I think I'm liking this idea so much better. And don't worry if you get a little paint up on your twine, because you can always add a little more twine to it. It's no big deal, y'all. Yes, I think I'm going to like this one so much better. Oh, lovely. Real life people, real life right here. Okay. So now we're just going to let this dry. And it covered up that black really, really well. Okay, y'all. So my mason jar has dried. It looks really good compared to what it did yesterday. I did add a little bit of twine up here just to cover up the white paint. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're just regular word stickers. They're white and outlined in black. And I'm gonna put Chambers Family on the mason jar with these stickers. And I am gonna add a little bit of hot glue to each one. That way they do stay on there a little bit better. But I'm not going to add a lot because I do not want the hot glue to show and I do not want it to melt the sticker. It's actually sticking really good without the hot glue, so I don't think I am going to do the hot glue. Okay, we got chambers. And then I'm going to do family. Or a matter of fact, I'm going to do chambers, farm, home. That's what I'm going to do. And hope and pray I have enough stickers for this. You can paint on this if you would like. You can use vinyl lettering. You can do as you please on this. This is just the way that I decided to go with it. Chambers, farm, and now we're gonna do home. And then I'm going to show you what else we are going to add to it just to make it look more elevated, I should say. I 
want home in big letters. And then I'm also going to add one of these galvanized metal hearts that I got on clearance at Walmart not too long ago. And I'm going to add it right beside home. I do want to give it a little bit of a distressed look. That way it's not so perfect. So just taking some sandpaper and rubbing it up. Don't want a lot taken off, just enough to tell that it is distressed. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna add a burlap bow to it. Cause we all know how I love my burlap bows. So it don't need to be big measure the size bow that I want then you just take your bow you flip it or your burlap and you hot glue the ends and stick it together be careful when you're gluing burlap hot glue and burlap because it will come through on your fingers Then you're just gonna take your bow and scrunch it up in the middle how you want it. And take some twine and wrap it around is how I like to do them. So what I'm gonna do is just lay my bow down and lay my twine out and then tie it in the back. And then I will finish wrapping it. As you can see, it's uneven. So you just move it down until you get it how even you want it. Just work with it until you have it the way that you like it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Then you're just gonna wanna wrap it and then once you get it wrapped, to your liking glue the back of it so it does not come unwrapped or you can tie it and then glue it it's completely up to you i like to glue and tie mine to ensure that it stays then i just snip the remainder of my twine and put just a dab more glue so it does not unravel. See the little bow? Hang on. There we are. And I'm just gonna glue it right at the bottom. Make sure it dries. And then, voila, Chambers Family Home in a little mason jar. It's so cute, so simple. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you want to see more DIYs like this, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you try to do this or the ornaments, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a blessed evening. If you are new, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you become a part of our YouTube family. Bye, y'all.